everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to my blog for the collaboration hop between HAA Supply and Pear Blossom Press. I'm really glad that you joined me today, I hope you're doing okay and I hope you also enjoy this card that I've made using some Mama Elephant products as well as the HAA Supply products and the Easy Lights from Pear Blossom Press. So this is how the card actually works and it moves as well as lights up and it's lots of fun. So I've started by using um, the Mama Elephant products, the Upon Us Star stamp set, the Wiper Surprise, and these are the Easy Lights from Amanda at Pear Blossom Press. And also I've used some really gorgeous little Diamante, some clear diamonds from HAI Supply, and I've used my Heffy Doodle Cloud um, dies as well. So I've grabbed some colors of Distress Oxide inks and I'm going to start by um, making a galaxy background or a night sky, I guess you'd call it. And I really like um, having some color behind a galaxy background. It just give it, gives it a little bit more um, than just sort of muted colors. I like a bit of a brighter color in the background. So I'm just using peacock feathers, then festive berries, and I'm just going over my piece of cardstock um, and making the areas quite dark with the color just because you're going to cover it all over with um, the black sort in the end and it kind of mutes the colors quite a bit so then I'm going to use chip sapphire as well to give it um, that little bit of a bluish tinge as well to the background and always when I'm creating galaxy backgrounds it never looks like it's going to turn out and it always looks like a bit of a mess or I call it a dog's breakfast um, but it actually comes good in the end and looks really good once you've done all the splatters and things on the top. So now I'm going over the top of all of that with black soot so I mainly go between the colours but I also cover up a little bit of the colour as well and if you cover up too much don't worry you can go back over like I'm doing here and um, make those colours a little bit more intense. Now I'm grabbing my splatter box. I just have this box for doing my white galaxy black background splatters in. And I've got some gesso um, paint on one of my blocks and sort of a stiff, fairly old brush. And I've added a little bit of water to the gesso. You don't want to add too much water that it's too thin, but if you leave the paint too thick, it kind of leaves stringy splatters rather than spots and dots. So I just add a little bit of water to thin it down a little bit and then I just sort of splatter it over the front of the card like I showed you. So I'm just, I either leave that to dry if I can or I um, heat it a little bit with a heat gun to dry it off, but just be careful your paint doesn't bubble up. Um, and then I'm going to also splatter it with just some water droplets from my water sprayer. I've just taken the lid off and I'm just um, splattering it. This gives a bit more of a mottled effect as well. So that's the galaxy background done. Um, if you find you haven't got some big enough splatters, I guess you call it, you can go and put in a few with your white gel pen, which I've just shown you there. Now I'm going to cut my clouds, which is going to form the front panel of the card. And I'm also going to cut my wiper panel um, for the background piece using the die and the clouds will go over the front like so and I was just making sure I had it um, sort of in the right direction. Once I cut those I then folded the pieces. Um, I also have a, um, a tutorial on my YouTube channel for the wiper surprise using and customizing the wiper surprise die so please go and check that out if you're interested. And I'm just going to stamp out my images and I've started to use the Ink on 3 um, blackout ink which I'm finding is really fantastic for both a really dark stamped image and also for colouring with my Copics. So I really like that ink and that's the one I've, that's been my go-to ink most recently since I got that. So it's a good one if you're looking for really nice dark images. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of my colouring, not all of it, but I just wanted to show you my colouring technique with Copics. And I always start with my darkest Copic. I've started with the C9 here and I've coloured these bunnies with the um, cool greys, which are the Cs. Then I just go in, I only put a tiny bit of that really darkest colour and then another tiny bit of the next colour which is the C7 and I just kind of go over the top of that darkest colour 
Now I'm dropping down to a C5 and again I'm not bringing it too far into the image, I'm sticking to those shadow edges of the image and just going over the top of my other two colours that I've already laid down. Now the C3 and I bring that in that little bit more, um, not, again not right over the image. I like to colour now with a more dramatic difference between my lightest and my darkest colours so the shadows are a little bit more emphasised. And then finally with the C1 I come in and bring that more, even more so into the image um, as well. And then the C00 if um, I just go over the top with it all. And sometimes I even use that lightest colour to push the darker colours back a bit if I felt they're too, too prominent. I'm just using a, a blender pen there, colourless blender to get rid of some little over, over colouring. And then I'm just going to go in and do the, the cheeks and the bunny ears and things like that as well with one of the nice uh, pinks and I just shade that off with one of the lightest pinks too. So that's generally how I do all of my Copic colouring of critters. Now I've constructed the, um, the card a little bit and I've put the wiper inside and now I'm going to attach the um, Easy Light from Pear Blossom Press. I'm just going to pop in the battery and that's how easy it is to work literally just pop in the battery and they're ready to go so I'm just working out my placement now I want the lights I guess to be hidden at the back or the the wires so I'm just working out where I want it to go and I'm going to put a pencil guide where to punch a hole so that I can poke the wires through the back of the card they're just punching that there making sure that it's in the right spot and then I'm just going to thread the lights through the back of the card so that you can't see all the wires obviously and then I'm just going to stick that down in that spot and this would allow you to change the battery in this card too if it actually ran down in the end I'm using some 3d foam I'm doing two layers of that um, just at the top and bottom of the battery so that it lifts the card off that a little bit and keeps it secure in that spot and I'm just going to adhere that down like so and so that's how it works just a light press of the finger and the lights come on now I'm going to work out where to put my other images and where I wanted them to go in my background because I need to punch holes for the light to shine through where they are as well so I just placed my images on and kind of worked out where I wanted things to go and now I'm going to just do a really light pencil dot where I'm going to punch my hole so I just went ahead and and did that and then last of all the little bunny on the moon I just had to do that star as well so that the light shines through behind that star And then I'm just going to punch those out with my whole bunch. And then I had to do one on the background as well so that it could come through the background piece and then behind the cloud so that it shone through. I realised I just needed to trim down my wiper arm a little bit so that it wasn't showing behind that bunny. It won't affect the um, workings of the, of the arm. And then just go ahead and punch where you want your holes to be in the background piece. Okay, so once all of the holes were punched, I just had to work out where my wires needed to sort of come through. And I'll show you how I've done that on the back of the card. And then later on, I'm going to um, cover that up so you won't see it. I also had to hold punch holes in the stars, so I've just done that really carefully. A couple of them I punched a couple of those tiny holes in just so the hole was a little bit bigger. And a little hint here, if your piece is as small as this little star was, an idea is to just adhere it lightly to a piece of cardstock and then punch it and then you can take it off the cardstock and use it. Just it was a bit fiddly to hold on to and punch without um, getting it in the wrong place. Okay, then I'm going to get my beautiful clear diamonds from the HAI Supply and I'm going to attach those on. I did it with roller tape to begin with and then thought I think it'd be easier with the dimensional um, glaze so I've just used some of that 
to attach the other diamonds and of course that dries clear so you can see through them you can still see through them I'm just attaching those on making sure they're stuck really well and they're beautiful these diamantes they really have a glimmer to them and they help the light um, shine quite brightly now I'm just uh, folding or uh, wrapping my wires around in a in my around my finger just so that I can um, adhere down the bits that don't obviously need to be flapping around on the back there and then I'm popping my light behind the hole and then sticking that down as well with some purple tape so I just ran my finger over to make sure it was really um, secure and that the wire wasn't going to move so it just keeps the wires neat and extra wire neat and out of the way if you wind it around like that and then just stick another piece of tape down and make sure they're sitting the right way behind the hole and then tape them down behind there as well and then my last one I just had to fit a little bit because I didn't want it to be too tight I wanted it to be have a little bit of um, slack in it because it needed to move when the card opens so it doesn't it can't sort of be really um, tight that wire so I just got the light in position at the front and then pulled it through at the back making sure that it had enough movement so that it didn't restrict the card opening and closing and then I'm just going to adhere the um, the rest of that wire down on the back of the card as well okay so once all of my lights were in place I just made sure all of the wires were going to stay stuck down and they weren't going to move and that it worked okay and I just pushed that wire as poking out the bottom of it I just pushed the excess up so that it didn't hang out the bottom of the card now I'm adhering on all my images and I just want to place the stars obviously over the holes and the, where the lights are showing through so I just adhere that on with my ruler tape and I'm just making sure they're all in the right right position as I go and it was so easy just to do this I just can't believe how easy it was to make this light up card with the easy light it just is incredible and I'm going to be using them so much more now that I can just very quickly and easily um, get them to work like this there's no kind of real you know thinking through things or laying tape down or anything like that it's all really really easy to do and I'm sure you can think of so many other ideas that are equally as, as good that um, are going to be so much fun for you to create, create with them. So I'm just going to secure down the other side of my wiper card there. Make sure that it's lined up properly before I press down. And there we go. So I decided to stamp out one of the sentiments and white emboss it on black card. So that's what I'm doing there. Um, and I'm just trimmed that out and adhered that onto the front and then I just needed a couple of other little clouds and one that said press me um, which I've used the Heffy Doodle interactively yours stamp set to create the little um, press me instruction one popped that on where it needed to go I'm just going to trim it off from the back and that's essentially the card I just needed to cover up all my wiring at the back so I'm just cutting a piece of card to size adhering it and adhering it onto the back so neat and tidy and that's the card I hope you enjoyed it and that it inspires you to give a light up card a go and interactive cards a go um, and also have a look at the amazing range of embellishments and things from HAI Supply. Um, they're so wonderful and there's so many cool little diamantes and little embellishments and also washi tape and washi paper.